In November 2017, Elon Musk presented his new Tesla semi-car, revolutionizing the transportation industry. Indeed, up to this point, electric trucks were considered something of the category of fiction, since their inefficiency was very low and many automakers considered them an ineffective replacement for a conventional semi. But Musk has vividly denied this claim, planning their mass production in 2019. However, the dates were then pushed back to 2021. And recently, it became known that the mass production of electric tractors will soon take place, accelerating the disappearance of all familiar fuel trucks. After the presentation, truck makers also decided to focus on the production of electric vehicles. However, they have not yet managed to achieve the same characteristics as the Tesla Semi. After all, the new truck can accelerate at full load to 60 miles, almost 97 kilometers per hour, in just 20 seconds, and without a load, in 5 seconds. The travel times are estimated at 300 and 500 miles, 483 and 805 kilometers, and the charging time is only 30 minutes. This is achieved using the new Mega Charger technology. The maximum cargo load for the Tesla Semi is 80,000 pounds with a weight of 33,000 pounds which includes it in the 8th class of trucks according to the American classification. Additionally, a significant novelty is the presence of four motors on the rear axles at once. The semi itself will run entirely on electricity, consuming less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile or 1.6 kilometers. This will help vehicle owners save up to $200,000 in fuel costs. The base cost varies from $150,000 to $180,000 depending on the capacity of the batteries. On the first day of the presentation of the truck, Elon Musk already began to accept orders for booking a semi. In just a month, the number of pre-orders exceeded 1,000 cars. Due to increased demand, serial production was planned to start in 2019. However, this did not happen. The reason was not indicated officially, however, according to some information and leaks from Tesla employees, it became known that in terms of engineering, some flaws had not been fully resolved. The postponed production plan for 2020 also failed to come true, although on June 9th, Elon Musk sent a letter to employees, where he said that the tow truck was ready. It's time to go all out and bring the Tesla Semi to volume production. It's been in limited production so far, which has allowed us to improve many aspects of the design. Production of the battery and powertrain would take place at Giga Nevada, with most of the other work probably occurring in other states. But here, the global pandemic COVID-19 and the subsequent world economic crisis played a role. And in 2021, it became known that the plans began to be implemented rapidly. It all started in March when internal sources at Tesla said it would soon begin mass production of the semi-truck. Although immediately after that, the company published several vacancies related to the new truck. It soon became known that Tesla was busy building a production line near its gigafactory in the state of Nevada where the mass production of trucks was originally planned. However, later, only the construction of a pilot line for the production of the truck's drive axle was confirmed. This is an important part of the Tesla Semi, which contains many innovative technologies and is classified. Moreover, the company sent out a letter saying that they are delighted to be able to deliver the first Semi to their customers before the end of the year. A little later, reports began to appear about a whole series of startups of the small production line's construction in various states to create individual parts and parts for the truck. Sources inside Tesla also said that a small-scale assembly line is currently being set up with might and main. Thus, only a few months are left before the release of the first electric semi-trucks. Additional evidence was the many photos of Tesla Semi in various states of the country. Most likely, they were brought there to test transport in different conditions. The first trucks are likely to go to the PepsiCo and Walmart companies. This was announced by the official representatives of the company. They were among the first to book a new type of transport. Further release of the semi, especially with the updated Tesla 4680 batteries, could significantly change the US trucking market. This is primarily because the new type of tractors will be able to greatly reduce operating costs by saving fuel. And innovative technologies such as autopilot and fast charging can help solve the problem with a shortage of drivers. Therefore, it is not surprising that many large companies are already lining up for new trucks. The massive adoption of electric trucks can play a critical role in the fight against global climate change. Indeed, according to the International Transport Forum, trucks and lorries will soon account for 15% of the projected increase in global CO2 emissions by 2050. 
However, in addition to electric transport, states are actively developing a network of electric roads, where innovative technologies make it possible to recharge a truck while driving. What do you think about this? Can electric transport make the world go green?